But uh, even even film is uh, I immortalized in a ceiling mural in our Mortensen Hall, uh, the, the mural called Drama, and we see uh, Al Jolson mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in right yeah. up on the the the, um, the ceiling. So we we have a strong connection to film, and we're hoping that this filmmakers forum is going to serve education education for those interested in filmmaking. I mean, the Bushnell is one of those places where, because of Horace Bushnell, the, the founder, who believes so strongly in education, I can truly say, education really is carved in stone on the walls of the Bushnell. You can see his words mm -hmm. talking about the value of education. So it's, it's there. And now we're looking at that connection with education and film. So this Filmmakers Forum is going to be a real educational activity and, and quite the opportunity. And speaking of opportunity, that's what I want to ask both of you gentlemen. How important is it for someone here on this side of the bridge in Hartford, in Connecticut, in New England, to be able to make a face-to-face -face connection with a movie mogul from Hollywood? So, Marty, let me start with you. How important is that? I, it's the most important thing ever because you, the people who are on the other side of the fence are the ones that make the decisions and the ones that control the purse strings. That's right. So you need to be... You need to find a way to talk to those people, to tell them your ideas, to show them your screenplays, and to to show them that you know there's talent outside of Los Angeles. And the fact that these people are coming here from Los Angeles, I, it boggles my mind that they're going to be here. I, I'm going to be coming to this to this forum, and I look forward to it as much as anything film related since I've come home from film school five years ago. And I used to work in Los Angeles, and you know I know you know having worked for a producer before. That's where all the decisions are made. So if you have access to them, however you get it, that's the name of the game. Well, Peter, I want to ask you too, because my, my first thought after Marty's comment was, well, there are telephones. There's the internet. <laughs> Good luck with that. Why do you need this face-to-face? -face? <laughs> it's the most important thing. Um, to answer your question, just to give you an example of, of why it's so important, um, when I worked out there uh, as an assistant and as an analyst, we would get just bombarded every day with people showing up at the gates, uh, people mailing us things, people cold calling us, uh, and the volume of, of that type of contact is just uh, so intense that um, unless something is phrased very carefully and correctly, you're turning 90% of it off. I mean, people do get through in that way, but it's very, very limited. The face-to-face -face meeting is, uh, is just worth its weight in gold. I, I should mention, too, and I really do need to <coughs> put this out there so I'm, that's not misleading. There is a fee to attend the conference, and only those people who are attending the full conference Friday and Saturday have the opportunity to sign up for this optional appointment to pitch to a producer uh, or, or an agent. I want to be very clear about that. Um, so. Marty, I want to go back to you here for a minute because we, we've talked globally, we're talking philosophically, and, mm -hmm. and, and you're actually doing some work on a real movie, this rising star. Tell me what that's all about. Yeah, uh, this is a project I'm really excited about. This is a feature film that I've written and that I hopefully will direct this fall in Hartford. Uh, it's called Rising Star. We have a website set up for it at risingstarmovie.com. Uh, and it's pretty much a, a story that takes place over one weekend in Hartford about a young man who meets his online girlfriend in real life by mistake and then spends a weekend with her and while they're spending time together they kind of talk about you know the issue of working to live or living to work a lot of people our age are in the middle of a really rough economy right now everybody's in the middle of a rough economy but I think younger people specifically are sort of coming of age in a time where there is no work or there's very little work so the idea of chasing a passion of yours versus spending your time trying to make a living, mm -hmm. however meager, is something that a lot of us deal with. So that's it. the film sort of tackles that question. And we're working with you know Connecticut businesses and Connecticut people to try to get the support that we need to actually get the film made. So we're really excited about it. Hopefully we'll be shooting it in October and you know we'll see where it goes. So you're gonna shoot this this movie and then and then what happens to it? Then where does it go? Well once we edit it and once we do all the sound design work and the music work uh, we have a plan to send it to a certain number of select film festivals to try to get in but we have a plan to actually show the film in Connecticut at all the independent theaters that the state has. So what we're going to do is actually barnstorm it all around the state so that people in the state can see a film that was made about their own. 
That, Very nice. that module is making a big comeback, by the way, because of the stranglehold that the distributors have and how hard it is to get your film distributed. So uh, what he just described, the idea of, of barnstorming or farwalling your event, basically getting a theater um, and screening your film there as an event, as a standalone event, is um, a module that a lot of filmmakers are, are moving towards to get their work out there. Because you need people to see what you've created. Well, yeah, and of course. you, you know, you especially if you're working with a smaller budget, it's you recoup your money, uh, you know, much you recover your money much more quickly because you're not giving forty or sixty percent of it to a distributor. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. I had no yeah. idea it was that much. Oh God! Oh my oh, gosh! Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, uh, another question for both of you. Uh, at the Bushnell Filmmakers Forum, we're going to have a dinner, dinners included, and there's a panel discussion on the business of making the film. And, you know, the Howard and Karen Baldwin, and uh, Alex Rose, and Martha Coolidge, and Peter Miller, and uh, others yet to be named, uh, will be on that panel talking about the business of making the film. Peter, I'm going to ask you to facilitate that, okay? So, of course, you know, of course, okay. of course. <laughs> and, um, so, I think there will be a lot of people who will, will want to know not only the, the global picture, but bring it down to Connecticut, bring it down here to home ground. So, Marty, let me ask you first, what about the growing interest in film in Connecticut, if anything, has surprised you and what has disappointed you? Well, I, I can tell you that it's disappointed me that we haven't had a continual growth over the last couple of years. It has sort of happened in fits and starts. Mm -hmm. Although I am happy to say that now we're sort of on an uptick. Uh, we've got two television series that are shooting here in Connecticut, a feature just wrapped in Fairfield County last week. So we are starting to see more production here, which is nice. The thing that surprised me, and I'm really happy about this, is how many young people have really taken to this as a means to stay home. I mean, uh. this was something when I went to film school, I went to Florida State University, I fully expected to move out to Los Angeles when I graduated. But when I was close to graduation, I had heard there might be movie stuff happening here. I moved home. And I thought I was the only one that was going to do that, but there are a lot of other people that want to stay here because this is home. I mean, I grew sure. up in Newington. And you don't have to leave to follow your passion. Exactly. Okay. Peter, let me ask you the same question. Sure. What about the growth here has surprised you and, well, if anything, disappointed? The um the, there's a, a very active and very, uh, it just seems to be growing geometrically. Um, the, the, a lot of people are getting into this now and are very passionate about it. There are several organizations that um, are, are really trying to support and um, educate people about the film industry, and that's really great. Um, I guess the, the number, the wide number of people that are getting into it has really surprised me. What's disappointed me is that there doesn't seem to be a lot of um, importance placed on or emphasis on the importance of story. And I know that the training program is doing a magnificent job of training people to work on these shows that come here to shoot. But um, this is the last part of production. Uh, there's a whole other side of production that begins uh, with somebody sitting down and doing coverage on screenplays and knowing story and knowing how to spot material that is commercial. And there's not a lot of knowledge out here about that, which is one of the reasons that I was motivated to begin teaching screenwriting here. But um, there's not a whole lot of interest in um, in that part of it, so that's a little disappointing. Well, well, we'll be taking some steps to correct that. Absolutely. So, uh, gentlemen, thank you both very thank much you. for thank coming you. tonight. Thank Unfortunately, thank our you. time is up. And uh, Marty Lang, I wish you great success with your movie, Rising Star. And Peter, will be working together oh, on yes. the Filmmakers Forum yes. and on the advanced screenwriting workshops yes, and on the regular screenwriting workshops. Again, um, please go to uh, bushnell.org if you want information about the Filmmakers Forum. And uh, so, gentlemen, thanks very much. Thank, uh, thank, thank you, you also to my FB crew. And uh, to you in the viewing audience, I say this every week and I mean it sincerely, I do know the value of time, especially if you're trying to work full time and write your screenplay or your novel. And I very much appreciate the fact that you chose to spend another evening with me. Thank you.